in the last couple days, Traplor Ross, everyone's favorite UK hood reporter and undercover furry lookalike, has been facing an immense backlash for a four hour documentary that he dropped on the bodies that King Von allegedly committed. You know, may, maybe maybe I could come to Chicago and meet you. There, there are a lot of people in my DM saying they're going to smoke me if I come to Chicago. So hey, man, make sure I'll be honest happen. about that, man. <laughs> that could happen. It's pretty problematic that he dropped this, but there were some, if not a lot, of people that were really big fans and watched it all the way through. It's an ongoing conversation, basically, of whether or not Traplor Ross is a journalist in the hip hop world or is he a vulture. The King Von video got down near that in 24 hours, okay? Because I knew what I was doing, okay? My finger was on the pulse. I know that people want to know about Von. I know that people want to know the deep, the dark, the, the demonic. Hey, because I was just thinking about this earlier while he sat on a basically Instagram live interview with DJ Academics, Van Latham, and Chicago Dave. And they basically pressed him about everything that went on with the video and whether or not it was cloud chasing, internet fame, whatever you want to call it, just in a way to like basically make black people and make King Bond look really bad, man. It's an ongoing conversation that I feel like it needs to be talked about because there's a lot of different ways that people cover these videos. And there's a lot of different ways where they don't necessarily cover it in a journalistic way, man. We gotta get into this right now, but before we do, I'm gonna make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna run into this video, man. Make sure y'all check out the merch. I know there's 20,000 of y'all right now that are reoccurring viewers. The video's more than once, so I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. I should at least have 20K subs in the next three months, so that's what I'm trying to get to. That's the new goal that we're going for, so let's run this up, man. Let's get it. Man, so this is one of the most controversial rap videos that I've seen in a minute. Basically, his video, King Von Rap's First Serial Killer, is a four-hour documentary that goes in the ins and outs of King Von's career from every alleged murder that he apparently had. And, you know, it was met with a lot of praise and a lot of hate at the same time. You got to look at it from both sides. A lot of people were congratulating, showing mad love, I guess saying that editing was good. That's one side of it. Another side of it, which they kind of go into detail about like them sort of being with the police and them like sort of supporting the police and just why are they really documenting this? Like in the live that I was talking about with Van Latham and academics and Traplor Ross, but you gotta look at both sides of this. We gotta see, is he a journalist or is he just a cloud chaser? Now, he went through a lot of time to get through all four hours of this evidence and definitely went through a lot of time to like go through all this and give the greatest picture that he possibly could while still like not even really going there and i feel like that is something that isn't really a journalist when you look at that one guy tommy g he is an actual journalist when it comes to this rap stuff he actually goes to these places views these places at a first-hand account and is doing more than just being on the internet interviewing these people he'll go to the trenches of whatever scene is going on which could be problematic for the police to go there and see it but you know he's not just like this documentary youtube person making his name off of other people's stuff and not even really being there presently so i would say that in comparison traplor ross is way worse than that he's just someone that's out of touch not even from america that kid that just wants to have a name to talk about this type of stuff and it's it's like a 1090 jake type of person but at least 1090 jake is in the u.s and goes through and knows and understands what everyone is going through this guy has no idea what any of us are going through and has no idea really to what being american is like in any of those places like chicago or any of those places that he reports like even the people that are out here we have a general idea but you could have no idea being from the europe area and never taking the time to actually do a documentary there so i feel like his documentary is just based off a of hearsay and he doesn't actually go down out there you know probably because he's afraid that he would get merged rightfully so you know for giving this information to the police but really 
academics makes a great point in this whole documentary scandal like interview that they had on instagram live and it was that if king von was able to leave as much evidence that a person in europe can make a video about it that it makes sense that why he is able to do it because he left a paper trail you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I enjoyed this debate. I'm gonna be honest though, because I've been in a bunch of these before and I've never shot away. It, I think the 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 context and the pretext that y'all y'all were debating on was just like, I, you know, I warned Traplo Ross, but it, I was actually wrong. There's like zero way to defend Vaughn in the majority of things you talk about. You can you're either gonna have a bad faith debate about Vaughn or be completely deluded. And I totally agree with that with everything like in all the news that we really report and people self snitching and stuff like that But in the lens that he went through it to make it look like entertainment on this type of level It even made him get shut down and then he had to bring that count back up It just shows that the dude is like I don't know like I see other youtubers do it dissimilarly and their whole message is giving back to the community Trapler Ross is reporting on these communities that he's never even been to barely even been to the US at all I feel like if he wants to do a four-hour documentary He should do a four-hour documentary in the very places that he's talking about or else he's just just going off of information that is not even first-hand information you know that's the crazy thing to me but you know that's just my opinion about that's just my opinion about everything man i feel like there's other vloggers that have done and went on the ground over in chicago and they show a different light of chicago because their ultimate representation is king vaughn and chicago and stuff like that people are going to think of chicago as a death city and like there's just demons there but i feel like when you go over there and you see that there's actual people there and you understand that these are just people and not just like murderers and stuff and people are getting murdered and those are people's families then you would understand like as a u.s citizen why it's so you know messed up especially him making it as content but of course his fans are probably going to hate this they feel some type of way about anything and any criticism if traplor ross sees this video maybe he'll make a response and make me uh, think that he's not just a cloud chaser but i feel like he's not a journalist he's just a cloud chaser but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this real say say shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment subscribe peace